What difference can one small office make at such a large place? How can one small ministry have any impact in a university full of people coming and going? Full of the shifting winds of intellectual fashion. In a culture that is never stable. This is the story of Geneva Campus Ministry. The story of Jason and Donna Chen. The story of a small mission that has spent three decades making a big impact for the Kingdom of God. Jason Chen was born in 1938 on the island of Kulongyu in the Chinese province of Fujian. After experiencing the hardships of World War II, his family moved to the Philippines in the late 40s, where Jason spent the rest of his childhood years. In the early 60s, Jason moved to the United States and he graduated from Calvin Theological Seminary in 1967. He took an internship with Trinity Christian Reformed Church in Iowa City while he was considering entering campus ministry. Donna Sams was born in 1944 in Des Moines, Iowa. She stayed there until 1963 when she began attending the University of Iowa. It was there that she met Jason in 1967, and in 1968, one and a half years later, they were married. Jason and Donna were committed to ministering at a campus. So in 1968, Jason took a position at Iowa State University with InterVarsity Campus Fellowship. In the spring of 1970, they moved back to Iowa City. He worked with IVCF for three years, but in 1971, he founded the Christian Reformed Campus Ministry called Geneva Forum. One of the concerns at the time was to create an open forum in which uh, seekers and, and those who are already Christians could come and explore for the Christians and the implications of uh, uh, their faith in their studies or in, in their academic discipline. From the beginning, the student group was enthusiastic and diverse, with some of the 60 members coming from Reformed, Lutheran, Methodist, Roman Catholic, Buddhist, and Muslim backgrounds. The 70s were a time of vital growth for Geneva ministry. In 1973, Jason started a Sunday worship service on campus that drew 50 people each week. Once a month, we would have a potluck uh, in the church facilities. We shared food and cultural experiences, uh, but what was really uh, meaningful to me about that experience was uh, how it reflected the, uh, the church universal. The Geneva Lecture Series, dedicated to demonstrating the integration of the Christian faith and learning, started in 1976 with theologian Richard Mao as the first speaker. A lot of us didn't know where to go with our questions as we were just trying to, do, to really form our faith in a new setting, in, a, in an academic setting, with the kind of um, scrutiny and criteria you, you, you need on a university campus. And Jason was there to help us develop that and continue to form our faith. Only a few years into the ministry, Jason and Donna decided to make a big change. I remember one student who challenged me. The student said, well, okay, what you said made a lot of sense. Could you point to me uh, where I could find a group that actually put this uh, to practice and and you know it doesn't take uh, much before you realize that there's a need to develop a community of Christians in which we can really live out the faith that we profess. In 1977 Jason and Donna and their sons Jeremy age 7 and Jonathan age 3 moved into Geneva House. This converted sorority housed students from around the world and became a center for study, worship, evangelism, and service. There were people from, from Taiwan, mainland China, um, South America, Africa, Europe, uh, as well as a few other people from the Midwest. I had lived in sort of community before, but this was more intentional community living. That was very unique to live with a family, to live with a few other single folks, especially folks from other countries was unique. I came with the thought that, you know, Christian ministry is really more of a, you know, specialized thing that ministers do and, and uh, you know, came to learn that it's really, uh, God works through people with many different gifts and, and wants people in different places serving him. Sometimes at the Bible studies there'd be students who really didn't fit anywhere else and Geneva House welcomed them. 
just as the mood of campus changed in the 70s, it changed again in the 80s. Campus climate has changed. We face new challenges. Uh, we need to, uh, uh, in a way, broaden our influence. In 1982, Jason and Donna, along with the campus ministry committee, made the difficult decision to close down Geneva House and return to a more traditional student ministry. In the fall of that year, however, some new and exciting opportunities opened up. The university experienced an influx of Asian faculty and students, which prompted the start of a weekly Sunday afternoon worship service in Chinese. We sing, sing hymns, you know, and uh, we have uh, English hymns, and uh, sometimes Chinese hymns, and uh, uh, Jason will give a, a sermon. Also, we have a group pray, prayer uh, meeting. Uh, at that time, uh, we learn how to pray, uh, get to, uh, together, we, we pray and really uh, God bless uh, our church. In addition, a Bible study for students from a Reformed church background started to meet every week at Jason and Donna's house. The International Bible Study also grew to 25 members and started meeting in three small groups. The ministry to the Chinese in Iowa City started to expand rapidly. In the spring of 1983, Jason started to shift the bulk of his attentions to this work. Although he continued to work in faculty and help arrange the Geneva Lecture Series, before long, he was devoting 70% of his time to the Chinese ministry. These efforts came to a kind of fruition in 1993, when the Chinese Church of Iowa City was officially established. It was during this period that Jason was prominently involved with one of the greatest tragedies the University of Iowa community ever experienced. Lugang came to the University of Iowa and he did well. However, he uh, was angry with the fact that his doctoral dissertation was not uh, able to receive the, uh, uh, the award that was named after one of the university vice presidents, Spriestersbach. So because of the, you could say, jealousy as well as misunderstanding that he planned for this uh, 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 murder scheme. Within a period of 11 to 12 minutes, he then killed two professors and, uh, and Li Hua Shan. I was asked to uh, go and visit the, uh, the wife of Li Hua Shan also, I was asked by the president of the university, Hunter Rawlings, President Hunter Rawlings, to uh, participate in the memorial service. I was able to not only bring words of comfort, but also use the uh, tragic event to bring a sense of hope and to, to suggest that, that the Christian faith uh, can become the basis or foundation for that, for that hope. Today, the Geneva Campus Ministry is alive and active. Jason continues to work with faculty, graduate, and undergraduate students in a wide range of ministries. Through his work and play, he has built a solid and powerful web of relationships. One of the unique aspects of the Geneva Campus Ministries is the emphasis it places on graduate students, professional students, and faculty. Jason provides general counseling and support for these members of the university community, but he is also committed to encouraging their intellectual growth. The monthly Finding God at Iowa series, started in 1997, provides a forum for Christians at the University of Iowa to talk about their ideas and experiences on a secular campus. The weekly book discussion group gives an opportunity for Christian faculty and graduate students to consider a broad range of ideas in a warm and supportive environment. Another big part of the Geneva ministry is to the university's large body of international students. Every Friday night, a fellowship of believers from many continents, cultures, and countries gathers to study the Bible and socialize at Jason and Donna's home. We eat a lot. <laughs> we talk a lot. We share a lot. And I think that's, that's very important that we all feel that we can just go there and just relax from our busy week. The International Bible Study Fellowship also sets up annual trips to Pella to visit farms and a Christmas trip to InterVarsity's Bear Trap Lodge in the mountains of Colorado. The most public part of Geneva Campus Ministries, however, is the Geneva Lecture Series. 
Since 1976, Jason and the Geneva Lecture Committee has been involved in bringing top-level speakers who excel at integrating faith and learning. Each year, the list of lecturers is a testimony to the faithfulness of God in academia. Recently, for example, the lecture series has brought renowned New Testament scholar N.T. Wright and Templeton Award winner Sir John Polkinghorne, a well-known physicist and Anglican clergyman. So what does Geneva Campus Ministry hope to bring into the future? Among other things, the ministry will continue its commitment to a distinctively reformed worldview. In striving to bring all things under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, Geneva Campus Ministry will continue its commitment to the integration of faith and learning. The ministry will continue to reach out to all parts of the university community. Undergraduates, graduates, international students, and faculty. Finally, Geneva will continue to minister to all parts of the person and culture, which means more than just preaching sermons. It means living a Christ-like life in a community of both believers and non-believers. This vision for the future will be particularly important for the next several years, as Geneva Campus Ministry is about to undergo a major transition. In December of 2004, Jason Chen will be retiring, and a new person will be taking on this important mission. We hope and trust that God, in his never-ending faithfulness, will call a willing servant who will be capable of carrying out this important mission. But for now, it is time to celebrate. Celebrate what Jason and Donna have accomplished with over three decades of giving their lives to others. We hope that you will be able to join with us. Your prayers and financial support can help Geneva Campus Ministries be a witness for God at the University of Iowa.